Okay, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the equipment that I use to do my part on the collaboration. This is my Copley uh, Acoustic Electric and I got on eBay a couple years ago and I have turned it into my high strung or Nashville tuning acoustic. It's made by Copley. C O P L E Y. It's a solid cedar top. I think I paid about two twenty nine for it, something like that. Um, pretty nice sounding guitar, uh, and it's got a half a set of the GHS silk and bronze twelve string uh, eleven to forty nine twelve string set. So it's got it's got the the high half. So basically, I was playing in uh, with a capo on two. And the open G tunings. I was going. I did the guitar part. Uh, it's an acoustic electric, so I just plugged it directly into my my Zoom. This is the Zoom. The, the inputs are in the back here. I don't know if you know Zooms. I had it set up on stereo. I basically I listened to JJ's Jackson Jackson's uh, bed track. Uh, the enhanced bed track with the piano and bass MIDI track on there and uh, listen to that in the air and plug this right in uh, and I had a uh, <laughs> earbud stuck in my left ear to hear what I was putting down on the, on the zoom okay for the mandolin this is my Fullerton Gloucester. It is the mandolin that used to be uh, um, Music 123's house, house brand. Um, and basically what I did there was I used the K and K mandolin twin. And what that does is it sticks on here right on the top of the mandolin with adhesive and it's got a piece of velcro here but I stuck the velcro underneath my tone guard this is a, a product called a tone guard that keeps the mandolin away from your body and and I plugged that right in but the problem was the mandolin with that on it is very microphonic so I had to be, still be very quiet I couldn't move around I, it was really nerve-wracking to try to do and um, my pick that I use for mandolin is the uh, Dunlop, oh, holding it backwards, Dunlop Ultex 1.14. It's my it's, a, it's my favorite pick for mandolin. Uh, Basically, that's how I did it. So you can see my equipment in investment. Probably the most expensive thing I used was the Zoom. 
uh, the Mando, by the time they were closing them out at one, two, three, they were 179 bucks. So I got mine, you know, before that. And I paid like 269 for it. So it's an all solid wood mandolin. Uh, so it isn't really bad. I I upgraded it a little bit. I put a cast tailpiece on here. I think this is um uh, this is a Michael Kelly for off of Michael Kelly mandolin. It's one that they sell, and this is a better bridge. I added the pick guard that I got off of eBay and the tone guard that I use. But really, I think it sounds pretty good. You know what? On the on the the uh, track for uh, for the weight it sounds like there's a lot more sustain and ringing out than this mandolin normally gets actually it doesn't always sound like that I, I attribute it to the fact that uh, you know how it was mic'd and everything uh, because it really is a pretty good bluegrass choppy mandolin <laughs> Anyway, that's how I did it, and I did it into the Zoom, and like I said, I just took the SD card out of the Zoom, put it in the computer, transferred the files onto my hard drive, uh, and then I went to SoundCloud and uploaded the, the uh, uh, sound files right onto SoundCloud, and that's how JJ got them, and he used them how he saw fit. Um, I actually did two tracks of the intro and where I put the solo when I recorded it was in the first position for the first solo that comes and he moved it to the second so it goes to show you uh, you know what thought and uh, care and um, just uh, general uh, you know, concept of of how he wanted how he wanted the product to end up sounding uh, that Jackson Jackson put into this thing, and as I stated on the board already, I was very honored to be a part of this. Um, so, anyway, I don't know if you want this if you want this much detail about what I did, but there you have it. I hope we can do it again, and I'll, you know, maybe I'll play some telly on that one. Okay, catch you later.